Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, I want to share what happened to me only a few hours ago. I got up at about four o'clock this morning and went to the bathroom. I went back to sleep. And it's when I have that late night waking up and going back to sleep is when I have dreams that sometimes come true. So it's usually between about 4 and 6 a.m. If I wake up about 4 and go back to sleep, that's when I have my premonition dreams because I'm not in that really deep REM sleep anymore. Um, so I had this dream where it was Prince Charles and he's talking with three other men. So let me explain what I saw. Prince Charles is sitting on a chair and these three men are standing over him they're like bending down over him so one impression that I got here was that they were very demanding they were telling him what to do virtually because he was like cowering because they're like over him okay they were saying things like let it go don't do it you can't do it. One of the men in this dream was like, you can't do it. Go, walk away. Walk away. Get out now. Walk away from this. So I woke up in a little, what the heck was that about? Because I've never dreamt about Prince Charles before. 6.30, I woke up, got online, and I found out the Queen had passed. So it's now 8.30 in the morning, so I've only been awake for two hours Obviously, my daughter's here. I had to get her ready for school, get her to school, etc. So now I'm sitting here contemplating what this dream was representing. So let's just quickly have a look because there is a prophecy here, guys. Okay. For those who don't know, Prince Charles was the first daughter of Queen Elizabeth. She became queen when Charles was only three years old. Charles is now 73 years old which means for 70 long years he's always known that he was going to be king when she passed so he has always been under the title of the prince of wales prince of wales for those who don't know is the title bestowed upon the heir so when the queen or the king dies the heir apparent it's for the heir apparent okay Right now, that title is um, non-existent because Prince Charles has just become King Charles and Prince William has not yet been bestowed that title, okay? Because it's up to King Charles to now do that, okay? Which will probably happen. However, <laughs> this prophecy, this dream that I had, there are those in the UK right now who don't want Charles to ascend the throne. So let's look at some of the reasons why they wouldn't want him on the throne. One, can you imagine a 73-year-old now going off on a world tour for probably 12 months to all the other Commonwealth countries, meeting other independent countries like the USA, where he's having their big state dinners, welcoming as the King of England? You know, the Queen, when she became Queen back in the 1950s, she went on a world tour. You know, it's the world tour of being a monarch. You go to every country to let them all know, hey, I'm now the queen, okay? So that is something that Prince Charles will be obliged to do also. Will he be able to mentally and physically undertake that tour is a big question. Secondly, we've got to look at Charles. Now, it is known, if you watch shows like The Crown on, t on Netflix, Prince Charles has been known to do tanty fits when he doesn't get his own way, especially with the women in his life. So he's always had this boyish tantrumism behaviour that he's had all his life. How will that affect him now becoming the king? So then we've got to look now too at William. Because now William will take on the title of um, Prince of Wales. How will he now fit into this mould as the new heir apparent? 
where these people who were in my dream were virtually saying, allow William to take your place because William is, he's got the love of the country because of his mother, Princess Diana. William does have the ability, the stamina, the youth and the health to do all these world undertakings where he promotes the UK in a good light. Now, isn't it ironic that only two days ago, the UK also got a new prime minister? Because now, when this new monarch, whoever the king will be, whether it's Charles or William, that person must represent not only the country as a monarch, but he also is now representing that country as a parliament on behalf of the prime minister. It's a huge undertaking. So in this dream, Prince Charles is getting told not to do it. He's getting told, stand aside and abdicate. Now, this won't be like the 1940s with a certain Simpson lady where that king was um, sent in exile to France. They won't make that same mistake. So I think that Charles is getting the option today where he can retire to the country and undertake the other things that he does still want to accomplish in his life. So let's get back there because at the beginning I said there was reasons. And now another reason. Are you aware that Prince Charles wants to create sustainable communities? He's been doing this for years. He wants every house to have a garden with either a veggie patch or fruit trees. So when you when it's time to harvest your own vegetables, you swap them with your neighbours and create bartering systems. How well do you think that's going down with whatever else is going on around the world with all these food shortages? Do you think they want that to actually occur? So there's more pressure on Charles. Then we've also got the fact of Camilla. Who the heck wants her to be queen? because of what happened with, (laughs) let's just go there, everything relating to Charles and Diana. Everything. So, one thing that I am seeing is William sitting on the throne. And as they put the crown upon his head, it's like he has engraved one word inside that crown. And that word is the name of Diana. He's going to accept that crown for his mother, who should be receiving it today, but it's going to Camilla instead. So William will take the crown. He wants that crown because it represents what his mother and his upbringing has taught him. So William is very eager for Charles to abdicate. You know, if this was medieval, the swords would be out. There would be hush-hush back discussions in the court. (laughs) There may be a movie about this for all I know. But at the end of the day, Charles has got a big decision today. It's his decision. Free will and his own tanty, egotistic behaviours. I think he's going to take that crown. But it won't be long after his coronation that the crown passes to William. Let's just see what happens in the next two years because I can't see Charles on the throne in two years' time. It's going to be a very interesting affair. Here's my prophecy. I'm putting it out. Today is the 9th of September 2022 and it's now 8.30am as I talk. I've only been awake for two hours. My daughter just went to school. But it is very interesting that there's all these people now straight on to Charles saying, give this all up and move to the country with Camilla. Retire in peace and grace where you are dignified and respected. But at the end of the day, allow William to bring that harmony and love to the UK and get us through these hardship times. The world does need love right now, guys. And wouldn't it be good if we did have William on the throne. Think of the benefits. Because here is a young man. Look at his wife. She's a stunner. I wish I had her waist. Her children, um, George 
Charlotte and Louis. Imagine what Charlotte will now come into as the up-and-coming princess. The fashion that she will promote, makeup, hairstyles. She is the epitome of what is needed now for people to strive to be better people themselves. So there is a lot of pressure on Charles today. More than we think, guys. I certainly would not want to be in his shoes. I would never want to be given that much power and to be considering to throw it all away in the name of your age. If he was 50, he would be gracefully taking it. Grace of God. However, he's got a big decision to make. Pray for him that he makes the right one. Pray for him and allow the angels to guide him and to give him the strength to come up to the right decision that not only is going to benefit himself in his own egotistical ways, but it's also going to benefit the lives and the country of the United Kingdom and also the reflection on the whole world. Talk to you all soon, guys. Bye.